What's up guys, my name is Luke and welcome back to Motion and Design. So I thought I'd start this year off by doing a commercial breakdown for one of the adverts that I did for Edifier. So the whole reason why I started doing these like uh, advert breakdowns, I think I've done a few in the past as well, is just to kind of show people that you know you can get some really cool results from just some really simple techniques. Uh, I've seen that a few people are kind of scared of like where to start when it comes to like motion graphics and how to get like work and so I, I thought I'd do like a little series of breaking down some of the ads that I did just to kind of show that some of these ads might seem I don't know complicated but they're quite simple and yeah to show that you know more people can do stuff like this you know might as well help the community we're all in this together so yeah let me break down this ad uh, this ad is for Edifier's W240TN earphones uh, yeah, I, I don't really have any direction. They, they didn't really have any specific direction that they wanted me to take in. Just more kind of show off the show off the product. Uh, they wanted to emphasize that the button itself clicks. And then there was just a few other pointers that they had. But yeah, let me just show you how I did this. So this entire project is all done in one project file. Uh, depending on the, the type of video that I'm doing, It'll, I'll either do it in like one project file or do it in multiple. Uh, it usually depends on whether I'm doing simulations or not. Because if I'm doing simulations, I try to break those simulations off into their own separate parts because they just uh, make playback really slow. But luckily for a video like this, there is a little bit of simulation, but it's so small that you know I'm able to run this real time. So yeah, let me play through this ad quick. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's uh, pretty simple kind of goes through. I think the, the main thing that makes this ad quite, I don't know, satisfying in a way, is the way that all the cameras work together. There's this constant flow as the animation goes. You'll notice that every single camera kind of cuts and the, move, the movement of each cut follows the previous camera. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go into the rendering of this. Cool, so for this first scene over here, it's really simple. I've just got this, uh, the earphone over here. It zooms in, it's in, not very exciting. I think the only thing that makes this interesting is the lighting. I, I think all I did for the lighting was the, yeah, literally just a simple HDRI over here and then one source of light coming from the right-hand side over here. Yeah, just this one little light makes it look so much better. Yeah, for the background, um, so I don't really usually like doing just pure white or just pure black backgrounds. It depends on the video, of course. But for something like this, all I did was uh, I added another octane uh, sky over here and then added a gradient. And this is just a circular gradient over here so that I could get this kind of nice fall off over here, this kind of gradient. It's very simple, but it looks really nice. So, earphones pop out. So all I'm doing over here to like cut between the different scenes is I'm just, I have each uh, kind of scene over here in its own little folder and all I'm doing is turning on and off the visibility. So you'll see over here, now this visibility is on and when we get here, now this visibility is on. Very simple. Uh, so one thing that I thought was pretty cool was what I did over here with the scene. Um, where is, ah, that's why I'm in the wrong scene. So I wanted to show this kind of like sound wave effect and to do that it was actually pretty simple but it ended up looking really cool. Let me go out of the camera over here. Cool, so what I did was I started with a circle over here, I added it to a cloner over here in instance mode. Uh, set to linear and just kind of had it going out like that. Then on the cloner, I added a displacer over here so that we get this kind of weird kind of like sound wave looking thing. Uh, and yeah, while I'm animating is going from the height from, I think it starts at about like 1.2 uh, centimeters and then it just goes down to zero so that it's like wobbly and then it goes back down to zero. I think that the shading is literally just a noise that is animated, yeah, animated speed. So that's what gives it that kind of like moving thing. It's a very simple way to just get like this procedural looking motion over here. I then added that into this uh, connect object over here. So the whole reason you have to add it into a connect object is because if you just 
through this null into a sweep, you wouldn't get the same result. So you have to connect that object and then throw it into a sweep with a circle over here so that it actually gives a geometry so that it can actually show up in the render over here. And let's go back into here. So all of this is just kind of just manual keyframes of our cameras over here. I have a camera for every different scene and for a lot of them I would just be like, okay, cool. This camera ends here. Let me duplicate the camera where it's at, delete all the keyframes and then start again over here so that I can keep that same momentum going throughout. This was a pretty simple effect to get this uh, kind of like, I was trying to represent that it's uh, fast charging over here. So all I did was I went into After Effects. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It's here. So I went into After Effects and just made a circle that goes from zero and then all the way around and just kind of exported that as frame by frame. So if I had to go over here, you'll see every frame is rendered out. Very simple. And then all I did was plug that into the diffuse and emission and then just put that as a plane underneath this uh, circle over here. So it gives us like really cool effect as if it's uh, fast charging. Um, this one over here, I think I was just representing the sound waves. I mean, it doesn't really look like sound waves, but it looks cool. And a lot of the time with these type of advertisements, that's really important. I mean, we're, we are doing a visual ad. And so this, in my opinion, is a form of art in a way. And so now we're kind of using a artistic representation of what things could look like. So this was my idea of what I could do like sound waves as to make it look a little bit more interesting. I mean, 100% there are better artists out there who would be able to do something way cooler. But this was something really simple and it gave a really cool result. So it is really simple. I mean, uh, it's literally just an emitter over here that, that was a circle. Uh, let's just go over here, plus Y. Let me just show you guys how it is. Emission, let's go pulse. So, uh, nope, we want it to go around the ring only and we want the cone angle to be 90. Uh, the cone angle is kind of the angle at which it's gonna shoot out the particles. So this is at zero, but then if it's at 19, then it's all the way this way. So now if we do that, now it shoots out from the side like that. Cool, I, I think I turned up the amount of, uh, so the length over here uh, represents like how long it will emit for. So if I have it down to one, it'll only emit on one frame, but if I have it at two, it'll have a little bit more particles because it's gonna be emitting on every two frames. Well, sorry, it's gonna be emitting for two frames. Cool, and then from there, I literally just added a turbulence and I think I just made it a little bit smaller. Uh, why is it? Oh, strength and scale. And then, yeah, it was just kind of that. Super simple, but it gave us a really cool look. And I don't know, in my opinion, that's really all that matters. I don't really do anything to the, the texture of the particles. I think I literally just had a white sphere to uh, make up every single particle. It kind of works because of the fact that I'm working with this like kind of white and black and throughout the entire video I was working with white and black. So it worked out quite nicely. So those emit and then it cuts to the last frame of earphones coming together and showing our two variations of the earphones over here although this light is not meant to be on over here. Yeah, really simple. It's just a bunch of keyframes. Let me just... Uh, why are we only seeing these keyframes? Are these the only keyframes out the entire thing? Uh, obviously not. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so it's kind of just going through every single one. I mean, most, you'll notice over here that literally most of the, the keyframe that I did is literally just on the camera. Uh, a lot of the time you can get away with not having to do much if you just have a dynamic camera. I mean, if we had to look at this video, like the only thing that's being animated in this scene is the button get being pushed in and out and then the camera just literally just zooming in, rotating around. Same with these. I mean, it's just literally the earphone coming out, twisting. But because of the camera being quite dynamic and following the movements of like the previous camera, it gives us really smooth and dynamic feeling to it. So yeah, I mean, it's a really simple video, this. 
something like I'm not gonna lie to you guys and be like, oh yeah, this is crazy, you know, this is Apple worthy quality. But it's something really simple that you can do that is visually appealing and works really well for marketing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's not the most in-depth video out there, but I don't think that was the point of it. I think it was more meant to be this kind of like breakdown, showing you guys that it's you can get some really cool results from just some really simple techniques. Um, yeah, if you guys want, I will do more of these in the future. Uh, previously, you guys enjoyed it, so I hope you enjoyed this time too. Uh, I won't be able to put this up on Patreon because uh, I'm not allowed to share the products over here. But I've got a bunch of other stuff up on Patreon. I've got, yeah, I mean, there's multiple projects up on the Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you're more than welcome to support me on Patreon. But if not, a like and a subscribe goes a long way. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, Happy New Year. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.